What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Back again with another one for you. And this time we are doing the classic do what <clears throat> I think the first time it was ever heard was by Marvin Gaye and Tammy. Wasn't it Tammy Terrell was her name, I think. And of course, our, our homeboy Luther Vandross got with Cheryl Lynn. I guess this was like the end of the 70s, something like that, beginning of the 80s, and re-recorded. And so we have this nice, beautiful, classic ballad duet. Um, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. But let me first say a special shout out to Mr. Bo Young for sending in the donation. and Or should I say for sponsoring this tutorial. So thank you so much. And uh, we're going to go ahead on and jump right on into this. Um the introduction is very simple. It's just D. <laughs> That's the introduction. Then you just go D. Okay, do I need to slow that down? No, I'm just playing. Okay. So after you get through that part, you come in with a D major 9, D, A, D on the left hand, F sharp, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. Next chord is... Um, you can do a G major 7 or G major 9. I like the G major 9, so that's what I'm doing. But it's a, I'll show you both chords. So G major 7 is G, D on the left hand, or you can just do a double G down here. And on your right hand, you got G, B, D, and F sharp. Now, if you want, if you take this G and move it over to A... They go your G major nine. So you choose which one you want to use. I think I like nine. The nine is just sweeter. Okay, right at that part. Now, after that, you're going to have to, uh, my advice to you would be to go back to play the G major seven. Because you have to go, and it's kind of, and, and if you go to the G major seven, all you got to do is just move all your fingers down the half step. Oh, sorry about that. It's not it's not perfect half step. As a matter of fact, it's not half steps at all, it's whole steps. But you're going from a major chord to two minor chords. Okay, so so you got G major seven again, double G, G, B, D, F sharp on the right hand. Then you're gonna go to F sharp minor seven, double F sharp on the left hand, F sharp, A, C sharp, and E. Then you're going to drop down to E minor 7, double E on the left hand, E, G, B, D. And then you're going to jump back up to your F sharp minor 7 because that's the chord that you want to land on. So you got, if this world were mine, I would place at your feet all that I own. You've been so good to me. Okay, so after you after you land back on that F sharp minor seven, you go to your G major nine again or G major seven. Okay, and then you go to your D major nine. Okay, what I'm gonna try to do is not keep respelling chords that I spelled out already. So this last time we're gonna do D major line D major nine a lot of times in this video. So D A D or just double D left hand F sharp A. C sharp and E, okay? So, all right. So look look at that. Remember that so that every time we get to that chord, I'm just going to go ahead on and just call the chord out and not spell it every single time. Your G major 9, again, is G, D, G left hand, A, B, D, F sharp, okay? So every time we play that chord, I'm just, you know, I'm not going to keep spelling it out. Or you can just do a G major 7, Double G on the left hand, G, B, D, F sharp, okay? So we got those two chords out the way. So again, your verses, D major 9, I will place at your feet, and then all that I own, F sharp minor 7, been so good to me, G major 9, if this world were mine. Okay, so that's the first verse. Now you got your pre-course. I give you the flowers, birds and the bees. As 
because y'all can hear my voice. I, I'm sick. But anyway, okay. All right, so um, the, you're going to go to your G major 7 or G major 9, whichever one you want to go to. Then your next chord is going to be a G major chord over A. Okay, double A on the left hand. G, B, D. If you want to be real slick, if you want to make it E minor 7 over A, you still have that G over A, so you can always add this E if you want. You know what I'm saying? So either you can just do G major over A, or you can add this E to just to give an extra note in there. It, it, it does fill the chord up, so that's up to you. Okay, and then you're going to, after that chord, you're going to go back to your G major 9 or G major 7. Okay, and then you're going to go to the G major over A again. Okay, G, B, D, right hand, double A, left hand. If this world were... And it's like a little pause, and then you're going to go, if this world were... So this chord, I call it... Um, what do I call this? It, it is a D augmented. It's a D augmented, and it's over... Um, no, don't call it G. You know, you know what I'm going to call it? G flat augmented, and I'm going to explain why. And it's over A flat. And I'll explain why I call it a G flat augmented um, or F sharp augmented. I guess I should say F sharp augmented. So you got double A on the left hand and then you got um, double. Hold up. I'm sorry. Double G sharp on the left hand. And then on the right hand, <clears throat> you have A sharp, D and F sharp. So I'm actually instead of calling it. G, um, uh. Let me see something real quick. I just want to make sure I'm not messing up. I feel like I'm messing up now with the names of the chords. I was so sure before I click record on this. But anyway, okay. All right, we're going to call it a G uh, F sharp augmented. Okay, I was saying G flat, but if you know, G flat, F sharp, and harmonic. So F sharp augmented over... Uh, G sharp okay all right and then so how that part goes give you the flowers G major 9 birds and the bees that's G major over a nine me G major 9 again and then you're going to do the G over a and then go to that was the uh, F sharp augmented over G sharp Okay, and again that that is double G sharp on the left hand, A sharp, D, F sharp. I know why I got confused now. I wrote the enharmonic name down. I, I said G flat off me. That's why I was looking at my paper like, what the world? Okay, so after that you're gonna go to your chords, which is basically a G major nine or G major seven chord for eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then D major nine again, two, three, four beats. And then you got the, if this were, that's an A7 chord, double A on the left hand, G, A, C sharp, E. And let that lead you back to the verse again. This world were mine. That's when Cheryl sings. Da, 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 da. Or Tammy Terrell. <laughs> A, G major over A, then back to G major 9, then G over A, and then the F sharp augmented over G sharp chord, and then you're going to go to your chorus again, G major 7 or G major 9, 8 beats, 5, 6, 7, and D major 9 for um, 8 beats, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, and okay. So the first time you did the chorus, you, you hit the D major nine, and then you just went to 
that's that part that goes you know and then you went back to the verse again now the second time you come to the chorus you do not hit the a7 at all you just hit that d my d major nine and just stay on it for eight beats and then you got the bridge that goes So let's look at those chords. You um, what you do is you double hit the D major nine, okay? Then you're gonna double hit F sharp uh, minor seven, double F sharp on the left hand, F sharp A, C sharp E on the right hand. Now you're gonna do a A minor seven, double A on the left hand, G A C E on the right hand. Then you're gonna do a a B dominant seven chord, double B on the left hand, A, B, uh, D sharp and F sharp. Okay. And then you're gonna go to the G major over A again. All right, I already showed you these chords already, so I'm trying to not spend so much time spelling chords 50 times, okay? Then you're gonna play those chords again. Then G over A for eight beats. And then what you want to do is go to this chord. This is an A major chord over B, okay? Double B on the left hand, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. And that's eight beats. Five, six, seven. Then G over A again. Two. That's the G major over A for eight beats. Then go back to the A major over B again. Okay, go right back to that chord again. Double B left hand, A, C sharp, E right hand. And then you hold that for eight beats, but then that's it. After that, you're gonna go to, I guess you can kind of say it's like the third verse, but the key changes. That A over B is there and the G over A, those chords are there to, well, not necessarily the G over A, but the A over B chord is like a transition chord that's going to take you to the next key. So now you're going to do the verse, like it's the third verse, but now you're in different key, in a different key, and it's slightly a different arrangement from verse one and two. So if you get looking at the chord sheet, we're at, we're at the part where it says verse three, key change, okay? So after you do that, so now you, so now we're on E major nine. Okay. So now we got E, B, E on the left hand, G sharp, B, D sharp, then F sharp. <coughs> Excuse me, fighting the code, I guess. Um, and now you're gonna go to A major. A major nine, double A on the left hand, G sharp, B, C sharp, E. And then what I like to do is go to the A major seven and go like that. Okay. So, so A major seven, double A on the left hand, A, C sharp, E, G sharp, and then hit it again. G sharp minor seven. Double G sharp on the left hand, G sharp, B, D sharp, and F sharp. F sharp minor seven, double F sharp left hand, F sharp, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. And then come back over to your G sharp minor seven. And then you're gonna play a B7 chord. This is where it's slightly different from how the uh, verse one and two is. You're gonna go to this chord. Double B on the left hand, A, B, uh, D sharp, and F sharp, okay? And then you're gonna do those same chords again. E major nine, I already showed you how to spell that one out. And then A major nine, double A, 
G sharp B C sharp E and then jump over to a uh, major seven which will be double a a C sharp E and G sharp and go okay so that's a a major seven G sharp minor seven again double G sharp left hand G sharp B D sharp F sharp right hand then F sharp minor seven again, double F sharp, left hand, F sharp, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. And then back to the G sharp minor seven. And then this time when you're coming out of it, go back to the A over B again. The A major over B, double B on the left hand, A, C sharp, E. So that whole third verse is, That's the first one, and then you can play it, play the chords again. Then you're gonna do A over B again. Then you got the da 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 those chords right there at that section I call it the vamp if you're looking at the chord sheet we're at the vamp now we have an E major 7 double E on the left hand a G sharp B D sharp F sharp on the right hand then A major 9 double A on the left hand G sharp B C sharp E and then go back to your E major 9 again. And then go to your B dominant 7, double B left hand, A, B, D sharp, F sharp. And then play your E major 9 again to your A flat. I mean, not A flat, just A major 9, right? A, um, E major 9. Then you're going to do A major over B major again. A over B, double B left hand, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. Okay. And then at the outro is what I'm calling it. Um, you have the... Okay, and and after this, that's it for the song. So you got this, I call this the outro. You have G sharp minor seven, double G sharp on the left hand, G sharp B D sharp, F sharp on the right hand, A major nine, double A on the left hand, G sharp B C sharp E on the right hand, and then go back to the G sharp minor seven again. And then the A major, um, A major nine. Okay. Then go back to the G sharp minor seven again. And then go back to the A major nine again. And then go back to G sharp minor seven again. And when you're coming out of that, you want to do F sharp over G sharp. We can, we can do that or... Okay, so you got double G sharp on the left hand, and you can play your F sharp chord with the F sharp, A sharp, C sharp like that, or you can invert it and play A sharp, C sharp, and play your F sharp up here instead of down there. But you want that over G sharp. And that whole section plays like this. You can do that in version two. Sorry about that. 
So let me show you that the A major seven, you, you might, it might sound better using A major seven instead of major nine. Double A on the left hand, A, C sharp, E, G sharp. Let your ear be your guide which one you want to use. So again, that section. Yeah, I'm going to do A major seven. And right there, it just keeps doing that until the song ends. Okay, so hopefully that helped you out. And um, I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace.